Hi, it's Peggy at Headshots by Peggy, and today we're going to talk about self-tape auditions. Congratulations, you got an audition. That is awesome news. So obviously you got amazing headshots, you submitted them, and they called you in for an audition. Okay, so technically they didn't call you in for an audition. They ask you to submit a self-tape audition. It's still an audition and it's still awesome news, so congratulations. So you're freaking out a little bit, not sure how to do it, not sure how to make it look professional? Well, I wanna help you with that. I wanna give you some tips. First off, if Headshots by Peggy took your headshots, you know I offer all of my clients an amazing deal. You can come in anytime. I will tape your, um, your self-tape audition for you, get it all looking professional, and you can upload it. But if for some reason you don't have the time to come into the studio and you actually have to do this on your own, here you go. This is what you need. First of all, all you need is a camera, tripod, professional lighting, and a microphone and some editing software. Get all that together and, <laughs> oh wait, you don't have all those things? You have a cell phone? Okay, well guess what? That's what we're working with because that's what everybody has. Um, most of you don't have the expensive recording um, equipment like I have or like a professional would have, but almost all of you have a cell phone. And I'll be honest with you, cell phones do have the ability to record really high quality video. The problem is people don't know how to make it look professional. There's a few little things that are gonna help. First of all, let's start off with where are we gonna do this? It's so important that you have kind of a bland background. What is your surroundings? The best place to do a self tape is on a blank wall. Um, but the trick is you need to be four to, to six feet away from the wall so that you're not casting a harsh shadow and looking all crazy. So I know that's tough. So you're going to have to do the best with what you have. Go to a place that is the most boring. You don't want a lot of exciting things to take attention away from your face. You don't want to be outside on a busy road where cars are moving. You don't want to have a TV playing in the background. You want all the video to concentrate on you and your performance. This is your audition. So we want the main focus to be on your face. So make sure that you find a great place to do it. Now I've seen a lot of people do it outside. Um, that brings me to my next um, thing that I want to talk to you about and that is lighting. Now your cell phone is usually set on automatic and it is going to automatically focus on the brightest thing in the room. So um, if you have a helper with you, they can actually push the screen over your face and that will automatically tell the camera to meter for your face and that's gonna help with lighting and also make sure you're in focus. Um, but if you're having problems and the background's super bright, it's gonna make you look super dark. Now the other thing is if you turn around and you have that sunlight coming right at your face, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be squinting and there's gonna be terrible shadows um, and the shadows are gonna catch every little line in your face and make them look really harsh and big so it's gonna look like you have bags under your eyes and huge wrinkles when you really don't. So lighting is super, super important. You don't want a super hard, harsh light um, punching on you. So if you are going to record outside, you want to make sure that you're maybe on a solid wall, maybe your building or your house has a, a wall that's just kind of really plain. Um, and the best time to do it is when it's all in a shadow. But if you do that, make sure that you're all in a shadow, not half of you. Um, and make sure there's not like leaf shadows that's going to make you look all deformed. You want to either all be in the shadow or all out of the shadow because that's going to you know deform you and it's going to be really distracting when you're moving around so these are things you need to be thinking about what does the background look like and am i lit you need to make sure that your face has light on it now if you're inside and it's kind of dark or you're having to do it in the evening get light even if it's lamps light light up your face make sure that there's plenty of light on your face 
so that they can see you because again, this is your audition. They have to be able to see you. Um, if you can afford 30 bucks, go um, to Home Depot, go to, to Target, go to Amazon, uh, whatever, and buy an LED floodlight, just a square floodlight. And then get either a sheet um, that you can, you know, extend out from it. Or on Amazon, you can get a white umbrella that's used for a portrait lighting for like 11, 12 bucks and clamp that onto the light. And that's going to soften and diffuse that light so you don't have the harsh wrinkles and it's, it's going to diffuse that light and make it softer, but at the same time, brighten you up. So if you have 30 bucks to spend on lighting and you're doing a lot of self tapes, that's a definitely a suggestion because lighting is important. Okay. So now you've got this, you've got, you've got, um, your backdrop that you're going to record on your face is lit. Now, normally the first thing that you do on a self tape is a slate. Now, a lot of times, um, what they're going to want is a full body slate. Now, if you have someone there helping you, this is easy. They're going to record you and then they're just going to pan down and pan back up just a slow, smooth pan. And that will be sufficient for your full body. If you're doing this all by yourself and you just have your camera, you know, set on something, then you're going to have to, I don't know, be creative, run back 10 feet and, you know, I don't know. You're going to have to be really creative on that. So, um, the other thing I do want to mention, if you have, if you don't have a friend and you're doing this on your own, do not do, do, do not prop your phone on the couch or the floor and then, you know, stand up where your, your phone or your camera is shooting up at you. That's a horrible angle. It's a horrible pose. You look ridiculous. Um, they're not going to even be able to see your, the full face, your full face, because it's, it's, it's a terrible angle. Don't do that. Use a bookshelf, use books, use stools, use whatever you can and prop that camera up. You want that camera about eye level. Okay. You always want your camera about eye level when you're recording something. The other thing is when you record any video, remember a TV is shaped like this. So video should be shaped like this. So you always record video horizontally. Now what I've seen people do is record the slate and then turn the camera to do a full body and then turn the camera back. <laughs> Never do that because you know what? Their computer monitor doesn't turn or their TV screen that they're watching on it. And all of a sudden you're laying on your side and it looks silly. So the camera always stays at this angle. Always, always, always. You, you can't switch, you know, from portrait to landscape. You always have to leave it horizontal. Um, so those, that's important. And I know I'm throwing out tons of things, but this is, this is really important. And I've seen people do it. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is slates. Now we're not even talking about self tapes. Now we're just talking about slates in general. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I do tons and tons of slates. I do slates for self tapes. I do slates with people's headshots for them to use on actors access. And I work with amazing, talented, fun actors that are tons of personality and eight out of 10 times, this is how they will slate. I'm going to give you an example, Peggy, five foot four. What is that? Um, so you have to remember your slate is your three to five second time slot for you to show your personality. That is what, even if you're in the casting room, because the casting director may think you're awesome, but remember that casting director is going to take this tape and show the producer, the director, the people that are going to make the final selection, they're going to see the tape. So they need to see your personality on that tape. So look at the difference in this slate. Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm five foot four. And then your profile, obviously I'm setting, so I'm not being able to stand and give you a good profile, but do you understand? Do you understand the difference? Show your personality a little bit. This isn't a mugshot. You're not in trouble. This is a slate. Now, after your slate, then you can, you know, look down, take your breath, whatever you do to get yourself into character. And then, then you portray that character that you're auditioning for. The slate is about you. That's about who you are. And can they stand to hang out with you for eight hours on set? 
then your audition is the role that you're playing. That's your acting. So make sure you give some personality in that, in that slate. Let it be fun. Let them see that you're kind of cool and they should actually hire you. Okay, enough about my little, my little thing. Let's get back to recording. So um, once you, um, you know, are on there, you're able to do your, your self-tape, you've got your audition out, you've done it, it looks great, it sounds great. Um, uh, let's talk about sound. <laughs> if you, again, if you have a few bucks to spend, you can go online, you can get a Lavier mic, they're like 20 bucks, and they'll plug right into your cell phone. If you have an iPhone, you can use your adapter and they'll plug right in and the sound will record right on top of the, the video. So you don't even have to have software to match it up. It'll record right there. Um, it'll get you good, clean, crisp sound. If you don't have that money to spend and you aren't able to have a microphone on it, the cell phone mics are actually pretty good. But here's what you want to be aware of. If you're recording inside your house, don't have a fan running. Don't have the dishwasher running. Don't have the air conditioner running. Don't have the TV on in the next room. Don't have people running around and screaming in the next room. Make sure that it's as quiet as it possibly can be so that the only thing this, this, the recorder is picking up is your voice because you don't want all these outside distractions. You don't want sirens and you know all these crazy things going on. Sometimes you don't have control over things, but you do have control over is your dishwasher running, is your air conditioner running, all these things. Just take a second and listen because sometimes when you live in an environment, you don't think about all the little sounds that are going on. And when you record something, you need to be thinking about that. So take a second and listen and go, oh my God, that fan's really loud. Let me turn it off and, you know, things like that. So, so look around, think, make sure your background's pretty smooth. And then um, if you are doing this yourself, remember there's that part where you run up to the camera and turn it on and then run back and you run up and turn it off and run back. Almost all cell phones have editing software built in. So when you're done, you pull up that, um, you pull up your, your video and you click edit. And then you just slide that little cutter over and you cut all that junk off in the beginning and all that junk off on the end. So it's ready to go. So my suggestion is when you start, you take a breath and you just count to three in your head and then you start talking. And that gives you a little bit of space to cut so that you're not just, you know, walking into it, you know, you've, you've taken a breath. It's, it's a little different when you're doing the editing and you're doing the recording than when you're on set with professionals that can edit all these things out. So just go on, take your little breath, get started, do your slate, take your breath again and get into character and do your audition and, and then you're done. And then you upload it, submit it, and uh, we have our fingers crossed that you book it. But I hope that this video helps. I hope it gives you a few little tips, helps this process seem easier. Um, it's not overwhelming. Do the best you can with what you have. As you book more, you get more money, you can buy some more equipment. But do, what, do the best you can with what you have. If you have a cell phone, use your cell phone. If you have a lamp, use the lamp. If you can buy a light, buy a light. All these things, all these things are gonna help you um, be the best that you can possibly be. So I absolutely hope that this was helpful. Please, please, please go to YouTube, subscribe, click on the little bell so you get my notifications. Share the heck out of this video and leave me tons of comments. Most importantly, have an amazing week and I'll see you next week.